Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you a really fun song, Come Together by the Beatles. You can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can uh, print this off. It's got the chords above it and all the fun little riffs and descriptions and all that kind of stuff all typed up for you. Hopefully it'll work for you. Oh my goodness, my, my strap is all tan. I'm not gonna, I was going to try to stand up, but... <sighs> And my head was chopped off, so <laughs> I don't have an editor or a cameraman. It's just me and my little camera. So, all right. Okay, so I'm going to play this through once, and I'm going to um, go back and show you how to do it step by step. All right? This is such a fun song to play and sing. It's just harder than you think to play it and sing it at the same time. I'm going to do my best. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot to go shoot. Okay. Shoot. Let's forget that part. but a lot of fun. Okay, so that again is come together. Okay, let's walk you through it. First thing that, now this is kind of my own 
little arrangement because I don't have a bass guitar and I don't have a keyboard and I don't have drums and so I'm kind of trying to make it sound like that. Really fun song though. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a drop down D. So, so normally, normally the six strings on an E, but I'm going to drop it down to a D. So it matches my fourth string. Okay? Except an octave lower. Okay? Alright, so then I'm going to go, so I've got some riffs here that I want to just teach you. So the first riff I'm calling a D minor 7th riff. And what that is, is you're going to, with the drop down D, you're going to go 6, 6, well, hold on. So a D minor, I've got it as, I don't, anyway, I've got it as non-static as I can get a, I'm actually not sure how to turn it off. My One of my students came in and, I'm, a, I'm an acoustic girl, he fiddled with it and, I know, I know this makes it more, and this makes it less, but that's about all I know. So anyway, okay. So I'm gonna go six, six. Oh, wait, hold on, let me back up. This is a D minor, okay? And a D minor seventh is this. And that's the chord that we're gonna need. So I'm pinching one and two with my pointer on the first fret. Tall man is holding the third string second fret, okay? And I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna lift this guy up and then hammer him down on the third. Okay, so I'm going to go six, six, three, hit, and then I'm going to pluck one and two together. Or you might even see me go, I might just hammer the whole thing, but if, you, if you don't miss it, okay? But sometimes it's better just to get a good sound like that, okay? So six, six, three, hit, twins, one and two. I'm just calling them twins, okay, because I'm going to pluck them together. Six, six, three, hit, twins. And you kind of go like this, one, two, three, four. One, two, okay, it's hard to do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you got it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might be easier. One, two, three, hit four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that a little bit slower in case you're struggling. Just just for a second. One, two, three, hit four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, hit four, five, six, seven, eight. Got it? Okay, go practice that. That is the D minor riff. And wherever you see a D minor riff here, that's what I'm talking about. Okay? The second riff is the D minor low riff. So kind of the same chord, but um, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I've got my bass note tuned down to a D, oops, okay, then I can kind of, and I'm, I don't use a pick as much as you probably do, but because I, I, I tried it and I kept missing the strings, so I like my fingers, I'm more accurate with my fingers. So then, but then I'm just going to take the back of my, I'm just going to pretend like I'm holding a pick. I'm just going to strum six and five, okay? And if I bump four, it's okay. But I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's my low D minor riff. I'm starting on this. If I were playing a D minor, one, three, two, top two, or lowest two notes would be six and five. So it's kind of, it's not a D major. It's not this chord that we're playing in the song. It's a D minor. So I'm just going to call it the D minor low riff because we're playing the low notes, okay? So I'm going to go six and five. One, two, and then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and hold down the fifth and fourth, even though I'm technically not shooting for the fourth, I know I'm going to bump him, and it sounds better if he moves along together. So I'm going to go one, two, second fret, fifth and sixth, or fourth and fifth string on the second fret, slide up to the third fret, slide back, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is my low D minor, or D minor low riff, okay? I should probably flip that and call it a low D minor riff. Oh well. Anyway, my third riff is my A riff, okay? And I could, but you, yeah, you don't want to do that. So I don't want to hold down my second string. It sounds better if I just leave off my second string. So it's kind of an A2, but I'm going to call it my A riff. Again, I'm shooting for my bass note plus the string right below it, and if I bump the one below that, that's okay. So in this case, I'm shooting for five and four. 
okay? But if I bump five, four, and three, it's okay because I've got three held down. If I bump two, it's actually not the end of the world in this one. It's actually okay in both of these, okay? Then I'm gonna go up, so I'm on the second fret. I'm holding down the third and fourth string up to the fourth fret, and then the fifth, back to four, two, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, and that's my A riff, okay? And I'm only gonna generally do that one twice, whereas this one, I'm gonna generally do that one four times, okay? All right, so let's see what else. Oh, and on the G, because we've messed with our sixth string, we can't play a G like this. Clashes, okay, so he needs to be up here on the fifth fret. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the fifth, or sorry, sixth and fifth string on the fifth fret, and that's gonna be my G. I'm just gonna strum the bottom three strings, okay? That's what I'm gonna do on my G. Okay, let's play the song. With those riffs in mind, let's give it a shot. So my intro goes, goes like this. I'm gonna do my D minor seventh riff, and I'm gonna say, Shh, if I don't forget, which I forgot several times during my little demo, but here we go. I'm gonna go six, six, three, hit my D minor 7. So you can start like this if you want to. Okay, that's actually really safe. Okay, if you want to. So, alright, so let's try that. You're going to do that four times. You're going to say shoot. Okay, ready? Shoop is what I think they're saying. I have no idea what they're saying, but that's what I'm going to say. Shoop. Once. Shoop. And I do a little extra beat at the end of the second and the fourth just because I get bored. Okay. Oh, shoop. Four. Okay. All right. So I said shoot wrong, but you know what I'm. You're supposed to do it right when you hit that sixth string. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to remember to say shoot. <laughs> that takes so much concentration. Okay. So I've done that four times. That's my intro. Now I'm going to come in open. Okay. I'm going to start singing the first verse. Okay, here we go. Here come all the laptop, he come through. Now slowly he got chewed. You probably went hold the roller, he got. Okay, now go to your A, but don't hit the, don't hold down the second string, just three and four. We're gonna go two, four, five, four. Ready? And only do that little riff twice. He got. And I, okay, now it's really important which notes you strum. Do not strum six, do, do not strum one and two. Really shoot for the middle here. Five, four, and three, those are your goals. Avoid one and six, okay, at all costs. So aim for the middle. And we'll sound good. Watch if, watch if you hit one. That sounds terrible. Watch if you hit six can't hardly even hear it. So you've got to avoid six and one. You need to hit five, four, and three. Okay, those are your goals. Here we go. He got missed it. Your, put your, I just grab up with my ring and pinky. You can do whatever two fingers you want. Hit, hold down six and five on the fifth fret and strum six, five, and maybe four. Got to be, and just strum and hold, one strum. Got to be a joker, he just do what he please. Okay, then you're gonna go back to your shoop. Okay, so pinch one and two, get ready to hammer on three. Six, six, and you're gonna go shoop. Now this time he says shoop all four times. A lot of times he misses, he skips the first one, but because he's singing something else, okay? But this time he sings it. Shoop. It's our first time. Second time. Oh, I forgot to do the extra. Okay, now I'm on my second verse. I'm back to my low D minor riff. where we're holding down three and four and not strumming five or six and one. We're shooting in the middle. Here we go. Let's see. He says, I know you. You know me. Hold down G. I 
eight, five, and six. Give it one strum, not all six, just the bottom two, four, three strings. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. Come together. Okay, now right here we're going to need a B minor. Okay, that is barring the second fret, tall man on the second string, third fret, and then fourth and third string on the fourth fret, and hold down that bar. Okay. Now don't strum six. Okay, because I really need to be up here, but I can't hold these two and him and him. I just can't do it. So we have to avoid six because we've got to drop down D. We cannot play six. Okay. Let's see how many times you're going to do this. Oh, and I've even got it down six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then go to an A, a full A, and play it twice. One, two. Okay, and then a G, which is this guy. Don't. You could put a one down here if you wanted to. That's a, that's a, a full G. Okay, you could do that, or you could just do the bottom and not strum one. If you strum one, it's ugly. So if you if you find yourself hitting one on this, then put your pointer down on the first string, third fret, and then you go back to an A, and then you're gonna mute. Okay, so um, on that G, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, anytime you do a drop down D, you can't play your regular G, you have to play it like that. So I do six and five, and then on the fifth fret, and then pointer is holding down the first string, third fret. And that's your G with the drop down D. So that's what it's got to be in this song if you want to strum that G. You get four strums, so you might want to go ahead and throw him down there. A, and I just knock on my strings. I just kind of go like that, okay? So let's see. Let's go back and put the words in with that. B minor, come to kiss six times. Gather. Then an A twice. Right. And then a G four times. Now. And an A once. Hit or mute. Over me. Let's see. What am I doing? High D minor seventh riff four times. Now, when he sang over me, he can't sing shoop at the same time. So then he comes in on the second time. Third time. Fourth time. Okay, second verse. And we're going to go back up. Okay, and we're and now we're on our low D minor riff. Here we go. He got Dutch, he got that B minor. Six drums, here we go. Come together. Then an A twice, twice right. G four times. Now. And then an A mute. Over me. High D minor seventh rep. Twice. So he does the shoop on the second one, but not on the first. And then he says, right. Okay. So he goes like this. So over me. on the little guitar solo. Now, just for fun, I'm going to flip mine down. It makes it more, more staticky. Now, I've got what I've got written here, because I didn't know how to write what I'm doing. Anyway, you can just go straight down strums. One, two, If, if I'm counting like that, then it's going to be 32. I've written 16 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I get bored with just straight down strums. So what I'm kind of doing is I'm going. Down, 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 down. And I'm hitting the bass notes. And then I come up here and go down, up, down. Bass, down, up, down, down, down. squeeze and release if you want to. Then it doesn't, it doesn't ring like that. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. 
that's kind of a fun sound. you want but you gotta get you gotta get your one two three four you gotta get 16 of those or one two three four five six seven eight you gotta get 32 of those half notes okay all right or quarter notes whatever those are okay depending on how you break this up all right now then comes in the A now and you've got the same thing 16 counts of this same amount of time either 32 if you're getting one two three four or if you're getting one two three It's hard to aim for that bass note because you don't want to hit six. So I kind of do something different. I kind of go like this. With my pinky. And it's really subtle. Um, so I've got my A. Then I put my pinky underneath. And I slide my pinky into the third fret. Then back to the second. And then... Oops, try not to get the seconds from there. I just crossed over with the second. It doesn't sound good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, and then you're and you're back to your high D minor seventh riff, and you do that twice. Okay, now I'm on the third verse. Now, right here, I'm going to take it back down, take off all that static, and then I'm going to go back to this. Back to B minor, same thing. Come together six times with an A twice, G four. Now the A two over me. Ah, I missed it. Oh, I forgot to say shoot. Okay, so he does it over me. Do it once without the shoot, then come in. Shh. It's our second time. Here's three. Shh. Here's four. Shh. says do it once with no voice I think I did it four times with no voice I didn't mean to do that so I'd kind of go I'd kind of go and I thought, oh, that's not too hard. Okay, just for fun, I'll throw that in. Okay, so you can kind of, it helps if you start with your ring finger. Okay, put your ring on your fifth fret, first string, slide up to the eighth, and then put your tall man on top of him on the second string and put your pointer on the first string, eighth fret. So I got eight, yes, I have eight and 10. Okay, I don't know if I said those frets right, but I am pointers on eighth, Ring and tall are on 10, first and second fret, and pointers on first string too. So you got two fingers holding down the. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, pull off one, and then hit two, two, and then. And then I'm gonna do a little hammer. Okay, isn't that kind of cool? So I kind of went, I went three, one, not three, two, one, pull, two, one, hammer, do it again. And then I slid up here, sl slide up to, I don't know what that is, 15, holy cow, and do the same thing. So, I, no, actually not the same thing. I did one, one, pull, two, one. It's the same position of your fingers. Okay, and then he kind of went up. 
and he goes up to 17, and then I hear him go all the way up to 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So he goes up to 20 and 22 and does the same position. He does that exact same thing. I'm on 20 and 22. You never get that high on, a, on acoustic. This is the fun part of the lecture. And I, I can't go any higher. Anyway, so those are some fun little solo things if you want to do this. Okay, that has come together by the Beatles. Hope you enjoyed that. One of my favorite songs that the Beatles does. I just, for some reason, I have no idea what it means, but I just love the beat and I love to play it and even sing those goofy words, all right? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. For more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com. Go print it off, a rainy day guitar.